So here we're given a coalitional game. And sorry, let me start it again. Um, so here we we're given a coalitional game, and we basically have okay. What does this describe? Obviously, there are three players. We're ending up the players, player set, and this is basically saying that um, so if we form a coalition of player 1, 2, and 3, then the value of that coalition is 1. Um, what that means is they're going to get utility of 1 in total that they, that they can share among themselves. And likewise, the value of the coalition of player 1 and 2 is 1. So when they form a coalition, then they get a um, utility of 1 that they can share it with that they can share amongst themselves. So, uh, and it's similar for these ones, and these ones, just saying, the coalition of player two and three, they get nothing, because it's zero. Unfortunate, they can't even share anything. And each player, if they were to form a coalition of, by themselves, how do I say it? So if they were to form a coalition of themselves alone, then they get no, um, no utility. So in this case, in the last video, I've um, talked about how the core of this game is x equals 1, 0, 0. And this is basically saying that the player one gets uh, should be getting the utility utility of one, and player two should be getting utility of zero, and player three should be getting utility of zero when they are to form a coalition. Okay. So, first of all, how did that even arise? Like, how did that case just come about, right? And you can see it from just the value function themselves. So you can see that the player one is in all the winning coalitions. So winning coalition as in the game that gives um, a utility that the coalition can share. But then in other, if you look at other players, um, they, you can see that if they were to form a coalition between a coalition of player two and three, they get nothing. So without player one, um, player two and three can't generate any, um, any, any utility. So from that standpoint, standpoint, the core is basically saying that the player one should be getting everything, all the, um, what do you say, like the fruit of the production, right? So an example could be like player one owns a farmland and without him, like player two and three can't um, get any kind of utility because they need a farm to get a utility. Like say they're like uh, farmers and player one is the owner of the land like that kind of scenario. So, yeah. So in that case, it core is basically saying that it's going to be a, a fair thing to allocate all the utilities to um that guy, that guy who owns the land, land, and zero to everyone else. Yeah. And imagine that. Imagine, even imagine that like we were to give a smaller value to um player one like it would be like 0 0.75 say and say we give 0 0.25 and zero what's gonna happen well player three is gonna be like okay 
So at this rate, I'm not going to get anything. So I'll just suggest that suggest to um, the player one that I'll be getting 0 0.1 instead of so instead that means instead of you giving 0 0.25 to the second player, you can give me 0 0.1. And in that case, um, you can just go like that. In which case you can get more utility, but then player two is gonna be like, no, 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 I'm gonna offer you a smaller one, 0 0.001, and obviously, you know how that turns out. So it's extremely competitive in nature, and also it sort of makes sense, but then it, at the same time, it sort of isn't right to our intuition, right? Because after all, the player one also needs the other people to get utility. So even though he's the main contribu contributor to the utility, we still say that there could be a better solution to this. Okay, so kind of fair solution is what we're gonna try to examine. Okay, so keep that core solution in mind, and we're gonna examine what the shapely value is, which is basically an basically an assignment that uh that allocates the utility according to each person's uh, I guess contribution, and it makes sense. Okay, firstly, we make order okay firstly see what's gonna happen uh, what happens with these so you can either order one two three so player one two three in this way or in this way or in this way in this way or in this way cool and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find something called a pivotal player. Okay, you're gonna be like, what do you mean by pivotal player? Pivotal player basically contrib uh, contributes, um, how shall I say it? Contributes to the increase in utility. I mean, it's better with the example. So we start with this order. So first row. We're saying, let's look at, let's look at coalition. So coalition, starting, starting from an empty set. So there is no play, players in this coalition at the moment. We're gonna put player one into it. The value of the coalition is going to be zero. And it was still zero before even before player one was there. So player one did nothing to increase the value of coalition, right? V of one, so V of one is zero. Now we're gonna introduce second player. Well, second player, if there is second player in the coalition, we're gonna get a utility of one. So that that means the value of the coalition is going to be one, okay? So player two is the one that increased the utility. So pivotal player is two. And you might say, what about player three? And well, what if there's a case where player two in increases the utility, but player three also increases the utility. You saw it right, it's coming later, but we're only considering the simple coalitional game where the, max, uh, the value of the coalition is either one or zero. So when it increases, when the value of the coalition increases, then it can't increase further. And as soon as it increases, then that's it, okay? 
And there has to be a pivotal player because when you have all of them together, it has to be one. Anyways, so if you okay, so if you look at it that way, it's quite easy. So if you look at this order, you have player one first. Player one, well, that's that only gives you value of coalition of zero. So that's not a pivotal player. And by the way, by assumption, like by definition, we say the value of coalition of empty set is zero. So we start from zero, value of zero. And also, uh, I should have really started with some conditions. So in this case, we're only considering simple monotonic coalitional game. So that's a game in which, um, well, simple just means it's either one or zero, as in value of the coalition can either take zero or one. And monotonic means if we if we have a coalition of, of that has a value of one, so for example, coalition of one and two, then if you we were to introduce the introduce another player, that's only going to increase or um or uh, it's not going to decrease the value of the coalition. Let's put it that way. So since one and two already gives the value of one, there is no way it's going to increase. And since it's monotonic, this can make the value of the coalition decrease. So that's going to stay as one. So that's what we mean by monotonic. And together, this is the game that we're considering, simple monotonic game. Right, so we start from player one that has uh, that it's not a that's not a pivotal player, but player three is a pivotal player, right? So three because one and three produces one. So player three is the one that increased the value of coalition, and we don't even have we don't even have to care about second player because it's not going to increase the increase or decrease the value of value of coalition of game in this case anyway and 2 1 3 well we are starting with 2 2 in itself doesn't have any value but if we put 1 2 and 1 gives 1 so player 1 worked to raise the value what about this case 2 and 3 so 2 doesn't have a value 2 and 3 doesn't have a value, but 2, 3, 1 has a value. Because 1, 2, 3 is equal to 1. I mean, value of the coalition of 1, 2, 3 is 1. So in that case, the pivotal player was 1. What about this? Pivotal player, what, that's 0, 1. So 1. So as soon as 1 is introduced, that's a pivotal player. So you can see sort of like uh, how we are building this solution. in. In this kind of way, we're sort of seeing, we're sort of like thinking about what are the possibility of the arrangement of coalitions, and also in what cases does each player become vital? Well, in four of six cases, pivotal player was player one, and in one case, player two was vital player, as in like. He was a pivotal player, and player three was a pivotal player in one case. So it is sort of right thing to think that they're going to distribute the total uh, the value of the to value of total. Um, no, no, no. What am I saying? It's it's right to think that we want to distribute the value of the coalition of everyone among the players in such a way that it reflects each player's contribution. So since we said that's three or one, two, three, um, which is one, we want to distribute the value of one to these. So the the allocation is such that the player one gets four over six because four out of six it was helpful. 
one out of six plus two was helpful and one out of six plus three was helpful. Hope that helped. So this is a Shapley value. And one zero zero is core. So that's basically the intuition and also the result of each different kind of solution to the coalitional game. And I'll come back with a non-simple, a more generic kind of coalitional game and the shape, shape Shapley value of that game. Thanks guys, and see you in the next video maybe.